Massive weekend in Wisconsin. Good to have you with us on this edition of Ed Schultz News and Commentary from the North Country. Going to be in Wisconsin on Saturday for the Bob Fest. I've never been to Bob Fest. I've heard a lot about it. It's when progressives from around the state gather. Uh, and it's not just a, a political convention. It's a real shindig, although there's a heavy political talk. There's speakers that come in. I've been uh, honored enough, to, uh, and should I, should I say I am honored that uh, they have asked me to come in and speak at Bob Fest. I'm looking forward to it in a big way. That's uh, Saturday in Madison, Wisconsin. All right, uh, Wisconsin continues to be a hotbed because of all of the garbage that uh, Scott Walker's pulling legislatively in Wisconsin, how he's trying to reinvigorate his campaign. He's doubling down on his anti-union talk all around the country, wants to get rid of the National Labor Relations Board. Uh, he's doing anything he can, and he's going to fall flat on his face. Uh, the radical agenda he had in Wisconsin I knew years ago was wrong, and I knew it wasn't a national platform, and it's not now. And it's only going to get worse for him as I see it. Now, the problems of Washington continue. What are we going to do with the government? Is it going to continue to run? We're running out of days. We're coming up on October 1st. Are we going to have another government shutdown? Are the Republicans going to pull another stunt? Are they going to try to horse trade at the table to try to get what they want? and hold the American people and the budget hostage. The last time we had a shutdown, it was caused by the Republicans. We did get some comedy at it, at it, uh, out of it with uh, green eggs and ham on the Senate floor with Ted Cruz. But beyond all that, it cost the country $25 billion. And it didn't do a damn bit of good for anybody, and the Republicans were big losers. And here they are at the table again talking about doing it again. Uh, uh, staring down the possibility of another government shutdown at the end of the month, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell went on record with Politico to tamp down fears that there would be a shutdown over Planned Parenthood funding. Well, uh, it's easy for him to say, but he doesn't control the Tea Partiers. Shutting down the government, uh, it doesn't defund Planned Parenthood any more than shutting down the government two years ago when it defunded Obamacare. And that basically is the pitch he's making to Republicans. The question is, is that going to resonate with enough Republicans so they come to their senses thinking that this isn't the right thing to do? Let's go to Mark Pocan from Wisconsin, the congressman who sits on the House Budget Committee. Congressman, good to have you with us. Oh, thanks, Ed. Glad to be here. All right, where where are we? What do you, what do you think? Is is this going to? Are there enough Tea Party members to raise hell on the budget to shut this thing down? Well, you know, this is an interesting issue. I mean, the bottom line is is uh, Ted Cruz, the Speaker of the House, uh, mm -hmm. like he's proven to be in the past, uh, or not? You know, uh, there's a contingent who thinks that they want to flirt with a shutdown again. They forget how bad it was for them two years ago uh, had it not been for the clumsy uh, website for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, you know, we in the generic ballot were up nine points after they closed down uh, government uh, as they did. And they're, they're flirting with it again. Uh, Speaker Cruz, you know, is trying to put it out there as he's running for president. And since he kind of controls that wing uh, of the Tea Party in the House, he comes over and meets with those folks. Uh, it's very possible. Now, some of the, the folks from the so-called Freedom Caucus, they're the most right of the, the Republican caucus, uh, have said, uh, let's go a little slow. But it's only been a couple voices of moderation, and uh, we're waiting to see. The bottom line is we haven't done a single thing to move us closer to a resolution that has to happen by October 1st. Well, that that's the key point here, is that government is stalled. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, if it were a horse, it would be dead. Um, you know, like, we're, we're, nothing is moving on the budget side. You know, this summer, you probably remember, you know, usually we do about a dozen appropriation bills every year. That's the process of the budget. Partway through, so, uh, when there were, um, was am amendments about the Confederate flag in a federal cemetery, uh, too many Republicans wanted to stick with the Confederate flag, and they didn't want to be embarrassed. They pulled all the appropriation bills, so we didn't do our job yet again uh, in getting that done. That's why we're facing this um, you know, deadline of October 1st. So, so where do you think the position of the, re of the Democrats? Well, what's the position of the Dems here? Look, fund the government and let's keep going. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, there, I, mean, you, you, the, I mean, there, there's no, there, we can talk about deal breakers. What's a deal maker? You know, moving forward, I mean, what we're guessing, I mean, the people who want to move something forward on the other side of the aisle, we hear the debate to be more around, are we going to fund it through the end of November or end of December? 
which is ultimately still not a great idea, but it's better than shutting government down. I mean, you know, we keep doing governing by a couple months at a time, and it's a terrible process, but that's been happening since so, the 2010 election. So, Congressman, I, I thought we were taking in more money to the Treasury than ever before, and I thought that we were spending less. Why is this happening? It, you know, because they don't know what they actually stand for as a party. You know, right now, uh, the issue du jour for many of the Republicans is the Planned Parenthood issue, a largely manufactured issue, uh, and yet they're trying to say now, you know, we won't vote for a budget bill that funds Planned Parenthood, which is a minuscule part of the budget, and again, as you know, uh, none of that goes towards abortions. So it's a whole, you know, they're aiming one direction and the, and the issue's another direction, but they're using that as an excuse. I think part of it is just, you know, the Tea Party fundamentally don't believe in government, but they ran for office to run government, and this is a constant struggle they have about doing their jobs. Uh, and being able to pound their chest and talk tough. And, you know, because of the presidential campaign, more people are pounding their chest and talking tough, as you pointed out, with Scott Walker and others. Well, based on uh, McConnell's interview with Politico, you think that this will be resolved that uh, or that there will be a problem? What's your well, call on that? The Senate is pretty clear in signaling they don't want to shut down. Um, but, you know, uh, and Speaker Boehner, quite honestly, I think would like to not have a shutdown, but he has relinquished his speakership to this, you know, tail that wags the dog of the hardcore Tea Party people. So who knows? I mean, last week we thought we were going in for a simple vote on the Iran deal, and, you know, it exploded because they don't control their own caucus. So I don't know what will happen in the House because clearly no one is in control. If I had to say who's in control, my best guess would be Ted Cruz. But that's the problem. There is no one in control on the House side on the Republicans. 